guys in previous video we learned about actions action creators combining reducers uh, for store and in this video we're going to learn about middlewares uh, like redux thunk okay so as we discussed in the previous video that uh, we can use action creators which are basically returning actions okay but uh, in the current situation uh, it is just returning a synchronous action okay if we want to dispatch a asynchronous action then we need to use middlewares like redux thunk so let's first understand what is actually a middleware what are middlewares a middleware is some code that you can put between framework receiving a request and the framework generating a response okay so it basically intercepts the request now people use redux middleware for logging crashing report talking to asynchronous APIs, routing, and many more. So for example, you have Redux Thunk, which helps you do the asynchronous, uh, you know, dispatch of the actions, handle the asynchronous dispatch of actions. Uh, you have Redux Logger middleware, which allows you to uh, go ahead and do any crash reporting, check any crash reporting or logging information, etc. Okay. So let's have a look at what is Redux Thunk. Okay, so Redux Thunk is, like I said, is a middleware that looks at every action that passes through the system, and if it's a function, uh, it calls that function. Okay, so earlier what we had been doing is, as you can see, this was the action creator, but earlier we had been just returning an action, right? But now we can return functions, and inside of which we can dispatch multiple uh, actions asynchronously. So when I say in asynchronously, you know why it's asynchronous because you know over here we are using a fetch API. Uh, it goes ahead and gives me the response after some time. So we can actually add multiple dispatches. For example, we can put a dispatch on top. So let me just show that to you. Yeah, we can put a dispatch on top before the request is made. Then we can put one. Uh, after we receive the response and then we can also put a dispatch of an action once the request is complete or we, if we get an error for example okay so with the plain basic redux store you can only do a simple synchronous updates by dispatching an action which i just showed it to you this one you're just simply dispatching an asynchronous action okay so middleware extend the store's ability and let you write async logic that interacts with the store okay so with redux thunk you can handle asynchronous actions rather than synchronous actions so i want to give you an example so you can see this is basically an example of a synchronous action so in the previous video uh, where i shown you that we are actually using action creators uh, which are functions which are returning these actions which are objects okay and then dispatching it dispatching those actions so this is an example of these this example that I've shown you this is an example of synchronous actions okay now how would uh, asynchronous actions look like when we have thunk uh, installed you can see that we are again using store dot dispatch okay which is basically this we are passing a function <coughs> which is which are the action creators basically inside of that we are passing dispatch okay and you can see that before this API fetches data, we are dispatching a one action, and the job of which is to just define a type as uh, fetch post start. So probably we can show a loader at that time that that the um, we haven't got the data yet, so it's it's just loading. Then when the fetch request is made and we get the response, then we are dispatching another action, which the job of which is to <coughs> go ahead and get us the data. And the type is receive post and in case if we get an error we dispatch another action which just tells us that okay there is an error okay we need to put type over here guys it just i just missed that in the, in the picture so just ignore that okay this will be type and then colon and, and then this okay <coughs> brilliant so let's see this in action so what i'm going to do is i'll get rid of these combined reducers that we discussed in the previous video and let's keep it simple 
and I'll just say reducer and I'll pass reducer to my store okay uh, next thing I need to do is basically install Redux Thunk okay so I'll just go over here and I'll say npm install Redux Thunk okay so you need to install this so I've already installed it so I won't be doing that again but you guys can do it okay and uh, let's get rid of all of this okay and I think I can get rid of all of this as well and let's import thunk from Redux, react, uh, sorry, react, Redux thunk the thunk from Redux thunk okay so I've got that great and uh, let's define an initial state on top so I'll say const initial state is equal to I can say loading and I'll set to false and then we can say loaded and I'll set to false and then we can say posts and then we also put error to null okay so once we have done that the next thing we need to do is basically apply a middleware because thunk is a middleware okay so how do we do that what we need to do is we need to say const and we'll say middleware okay. and then in fact yeah great and then we'll say apply middleware so I need to import apply middleware actually from Redux so I'll come over here and I'll say apply middleware and I'll say apply middleware and then I can just say thunk okay brilliant now what I need to do is inside of my create store we know that it takes the next parameter as the uh, initial state so we can pass initial state and it takes the third parameter as the middleware so we can which is the enhancer okay so I pass that as a middleware brilliant now what we need to do is inside of the store dot dispatch we will use the action creator so we know action creator is a function so I'm using an anonymous function here and uh, inside of which it takes a parameter called dispatch when we are using the thunk okay and then we can use a fetch API so we have some fake APIs available from JSON placeholder okay so I can just copy this fetch before I copy that let's dispatch an action so we know to dispatch an action I can just call dispatch because I have dispatch available as a parameter over here and then um, we can dispatch an action so an action is an object so this is an object the type will be uh, I can say that loading okay, get rid of that. loading okay and then we can call fetch and this will be post so it will be get request to post to get all the post data and once we get the response as the JSON data we can dispatch another action where we can say type is equal to loaded and then we can say posts will be equal to JSON 
data and we can just put this as JSON data okay and then we can also catch if there's an error so if there's an error error and again we can dispatch an action so the three actions we are dispatching type error and then we can say error will be equal to <coughs> error okay so this means that we're using store.dispatch and if you want to take this inside of an action creator you can do that separately also if you want to if you want to keep it simple const um, get posts data is equal to like this and then just pass get post data over here so this is my action creator we are passing dispatch as a parameter we are doing the first dispatch of an action the job of which is to set the type to loading which means the data is loading okay then we make an asynchronous call uh, and we dispatch loaded and we set the post value of the initial state to JSON data then we catch if there's any error and dispatch an action again if there's any error okay so let's go ahead and check this out we need to set some case over here in the reducer the first case is loading so in case of loading I need to set the loading to true because that time will be loading right that's it then if it's loaded then I need to set loaded to true and loading to false because it would have already loaded by that time so loading needs to be false and I also need to set the posts value to action dot payload action dot payload so remember in payload in fact I need to put payload over here we are getting JSON data so we are getting posts over here right great and the third one third case is in case of an error and here again will be payload okay so for error loaded won't be anything loading will be false and then error will be action dot payload okay great now let's have a look I hope we haven't missed anything dispatch is not a function okay guys so this will be like this now let's check so you can see store has changed initially uh, the loaded is false and loading is true okay and then after that loaded becomes true and loading becomes false and then we also have our post right so that how that's how it works that's how the asynchronous uh, dispatch factions is handled using thunk redux thunk okay guys so just to recap on what's happening over here um, we went ahead and uh, installed thunk we defined initial state set the loading to false loaded to false posts error okay and then we applied a middleware using apply middleware method that uh, Redux provides us to a uh, Redux provides us and then we pass thunk inside of it and set that value equal to middleware then we pass this middleware inside of the create store method as a third parameter and these two parameters this parameter is the initial state which we have just set over here next thing we did is we created a reducer inside of which it takes the state uh, initial state then we have action we have this uh, switch statement which is going to check the type of the action if it is loading if it's loaded or error there are three actions that we have dispatched over here you can see 
that uh, we have created an action creator method and this action creator method is take, gonna take a dispatch as a parameter because we are using thunk so this dispatch is available and we're dispatching the first action which is this object type of loading when whenever the API is call is made then once we get the response we are dispatching the second action once we've got the data with the type loaded and then catch if there's any error and then we are dispatching this uh, this entire set of actions combined together because of thunk uh, and just calling it over here okay so once this is called uh, reducer will check what type of action it is in the first case it was loading so it set that value over here to loading uh, loading to true then when this api call was made and we received the data it set the type to loaded uh, it checked the type loaded and set the value of loaded to true and then also gave us the posts in the action.payload because that's what was there over here let's try the error type because this is not uh, this action is not dispatched if I make incorrect API call then see what happens so you can see now we have some error going on let's see um, Okay guys, so if I am requesting incorrect API, then if I refresh the page, you can see we've got some error. And inside of the error now, we have type error fail to fetch. Okay, so the third uh, case is set, and uh, the third case is true, and it's going ahead and uh, adding the error value to the state. And that's what we, and it's updating the state as well. Okay guys, um, I hope it was helpful. If it was, uh, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. And uh, in the next video, we are going to discuss about Redux Logger. Okay, see you then.